Welcome back to our Dreamweaver CS5 Fundamentals course. In this video, we've been building this particular web page. And we're going to continue by adding some content and some formatting to our content area here. Now, when I go ahead and click in this area, you're going to see that my cursor goes into the middle of that. The default vertical alignment for tables is going to be middle. So what I actually need to do is change that a little bit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select both of these cells. And I can do that simply by dragging across them. You can see both of them are highlighted. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to Properties, and you can set the horizontal and the vertical alignment. I'm going to go ahead and set the default alignment to left and top. When I do that, and then click in this content area, you're going to see my cursor is moved up to the top, so I don't have to worry about things being centered when I don't want them to be. So I'm now going to go ahead and enter some information in. And let's go ahead and say, this is the main heading on the page. And then I'm going to go ahead and type, this is some text, more text. And I'm actually just going to highlight that, and I'm going to copy it and just paste it in so I get something like a, um, a paragraph there. Then below that, we actually had some images. Let's go ahead and look at our design again here. And you can see there's our title, and there's our, um, there's our paragraph of text, and then we have got some graphics here. And again, this would be replaced with real content. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And I'm going to go to Insert Image. And the first one was a picture of a coffee cup on a table. So there it is. I'll select that and click OK. And again, it's decorative. So I'm just going to put in an empty alt tag there. And I'm going to click to the uh, right of that and go to Insert Image. And the next one was the coffee bean scoop right there. And again, that's going to get an empty alt tag. I'll click to the right of it and do insert image. And scroll down. And that was the one we were wanting. I'll click OK. And again, put an empty tag in there and there's my next image. Now when we look at our design here, we're actually going to see these are spaced apart a little bit. In order to get that effect, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select all of these images just by dragging across them. I'm then going to go to Properties, and you're going to see some properties in here. And actually, I need to... I'm just going to click on one. Sorry about that. Then I'm going to come into Properties, and you have some pro two properties here vertical spacing and horizontal spacing. I'm going to go ahead and put the value of 10 in for horizontal spacing. And you're going to see the results there. You can see that's spaced apart. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this graphic right here. Go back to properties and again horizontal spacing. I'm going to put 10 in. And you're going to see it space that over. Now, I actually don't want to put any horizontal, or any horizontal spacing on this middle cell here, because if I did that, put it in there, see it doubles the amount of space. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take that out of there, and now the space isn't too large. I'm also going to go ahead and save this right now, just in case. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to format this text here. This is a main heading on the page, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I'm going to go to Properties, and under Format, I'm going to change that to a Level 1 heading. And you're going to see the results there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just take some off of there. So now, I've got a heading, some text, and some paragraphs. Now, I also want to make a few more changes to the fonts here. And I'm going to do that by going to the Properties for the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click right out here. And I'm going to go to Properties. And you're going to see a button there for Page Properties. 
when I click that, this dialog box will appear. It's going to allow you to choose the default page font, which I want to choose as Arial here. And we can also choose the default font size. I'm going to go ahead and make it 12. I can choose the default text color, background color, whatever I want here. And we actually are going to come back and work with the background color as well as the margin properties here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you're going to see that my text changed into that font. And just so that we've got a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and copy that, just paste some more text in there for our design. Now, again, let's go ahead and go back to our design. And again, you're going to see I've got a background color on here. I've also centered this design on the page. So let's go ahead and make those two changes. Now, centering this table is going to be very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the edge of this table. And when I do that, you're going to see that the table is selected. Now, actually, I clicked on this fourth row, so it actually selected that interior table. I don't want that. I want the whole table. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to hit, click the bottom of the design. And now you can see that that entire outer table is selected. I'm going to go to Properties. And the property that I'm going to change is the Align property right here. I'll click that drop down and select Center. So I'm saying Center that table. And when I do that, you'll see the design is now centered. Now let's go ahead and set the background color for the page. And again, I'm going to click on that background area. Go to Properties, and I'm going to select Page Properties from right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the default background color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And actually, I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to select this brown color right now. When I do that, that value goes in there. Well, now, obviously, I don't want that dark of a color for my background. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to click my color wheel here. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you that particular color that you selected last. It's also going to show us a brightness and contrast bar over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this all the way up until I get into like a tan color here. And that's sort of the color that I want to use for the background. You can also select different hues if you want to at any time just by dragging in here. And there I go with the color I want. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. There's the background color. I'm going to click OK again. And now I have some background color on my design. But you're going to see that that background color also affects not these areas because they're already filled in with color, but this content area. So I need to click in my content area here go to Properties, and select the BG property here, and then choose White. And now you'll see I have a white fill on that content area. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to align this over to the right. Let's go ahead and minimize that. I'm going to click on that graphic there. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to Properties, and I'm going to change the Align property to Right. Oop, there it is, right there. And Right, and my design goes over. So there we have our first layout. Now there's actually one more change I want to make. You can see I've actually got a little bit more space in between the edge of the brown and that graphic there. I just noticed that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that graphic again. I'm going to go to Properties. And I'm going to change both the V space and the H space here. 
I'm going to go ahead and type in 5 for vSpace. And you're going to see how that pushed the graphic away from the edge. And I'm going to do 10 for horizontal space. And you're going to see how that pushes the right hand edge over. And maybe put a little bit more on the vertical space there. We'll make that 10 too. And there we go. That looks a little bit more like what we're going for. So there is our first table-based design inside of Dreamweaver.